Hi, I'm Melvin Way. Welcome to my YouTube channel. These are loquat seeds, also known as pipa in Mandarin Chinese. So it's a kind of fruit that my friend says is very hydrating. And these seeds have a woody appearance to them. Let me just kind of focus and drop them on the ground for you to see. You know, they even make off uh, somewhat of a wooden sound. All you can tell, they're somewhat spongiform and hollow inside. Or, you know, they're not wood carvings and otherwise. So these seeds are very robust. And my friend ate the fruits. He said some of them grew a little bit of mold before they were kind of washed. So in order to combat that, I'm going to get some distilled water. And hold on, I'll pour it in the back. And then I'm going to add some 3% hydrogen peroxide solution to that to make a dilute solution of hydrogen peroxide. That'll help disinfect and hopefully deal with some of the mold and give these things a better start. It'll also hydrate the seeds and get things going. So. Just squeeze most of the air out of that. Of course, this is generating, oops, molecular oxygen. I didn't seal it well. So yeah, there we go. I'm gonna let this thing fizz for a while while I sterilize the potting mix, this uh, miracle Grow potting mix. All right, so my first order of business is to use this miracle Grow potting mix you know, grows plants twice as big, feeds up to six months, blah, blah, blah. They ran out of the moisture control blue packaging one, so this is what I bought instead. It's pretty much all the same stuff. And, you know, they have a analysis on, let's see, the nutrients. It's not focusing. Let's see. Not very detailed, but I'm sure this has basically everything in it has a lot of wood chips in my experience. So I'm going to rip this along the perforated edge, which uh, they always conveniently provide. It's a very uh, corporate product. And I'll fill these trays. I got two of them, because one of them typically wasn't enough to sterilize volume of soil in my oven all right so that's basically it I'm gonna put these in my oven and bake the soil for quite a while all right here's my oven setup I have my two trays of potting mix I already preheated it Coils are all red and it's at 350 Fahrenheit, which means uh, about 177 Celsius. So I'm going to keep it there for maybe over an hour, let it cool down and hopefully there's still some sunlight I can plant. All right, so it's been over an hour since the soil has cooled down after being baked in the oven. It's actually quite moist to the touch. It's no longer hot. so. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Quite an easy operation since the pots are small. I purposely chose these 8 inch diameter pots. And the reason, of course, I'm sterilizing this is because if I don't, there's going to be a bunch of fungus gnats, uh, spider mites, uh, springtails, or various other infestations that will be really unpleasant later on to deal with, if not impossible even with insecticides or whatnot. All right, so that's a good amount. And here's the bag of loquat seeds. I'm not gonna use the water in here because, you know, if there was a mold problem before, um, you know, hopefully most of the mold is in the water. But I'm gonna plant everything and just see what happens. You know, there's plenty more where these came from. I don't have to be conservative with my usage. Uh, some of these can just be deeper than the others, you know, by an inch, two inches. Uh, 
you know, there's so many of these that in such a small pot, it really doesn't matter to me. Just as long as one of these properly germinates and gives me a seedling, you know, we're good to go with this series. So yeah, these are really big. It's hard actually to have them get some distance from each other in the soil. So, you know, whoever wants to be first place here will pretty much lead the pack and you know, go on to be the star of this series. All right, so I can get rid of that water. Cover the rest of this with some of this moist soil. Although it's moist and the seeds are wet, I'd still like to pour in some water on the top, despite the propensity of that to disturb things. So, wet, muddy glove. Nothing fun about that. Here's some more distilled water. If I keep adding tap water over time, the soil could gain in salinity very significantly. So, I'm not going to do that. Um, so, yeah, we'll see where we're at in two or three weeks. It's day 42 of this loquat growing series. And finally, we have two seeds that germinated. As you know, there are many, many down there, so we could see a lot more seedlings bust up over the next few days. For the meantime, you know, that's, I'm not sure if that's the first mover, that one. Uh, this one is green and more normal. This kind of looked like it was in trouble because of the coloration, but, you know, when I do that, you can see it's just a lighter color, that's all. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. This looks like normal tree seedling development and you know there was that big chunk of dirt that kind of uh obscured this thing from light maybe that's why it's more of a you know reddish pink and just generally very pale compared to the other one probably got exposed to light earlier but yeah i could water a little bit uh soil should be still pretty wet judging by the coloration of everything on the surface and we've had a lot of cloudy days, so I think that's really helped to preserve moisture. 